Liliana's very good. I'll play Liliana. Kill the ooze. And all we're missing is the big one. Play Liliana. Make a zombie. Get it with Platinum Angel. And uh, yeah, I think we're in a uh, decent shape at least. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over at cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. Hello everybody, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing, and we got a fun one this week. We are heading to Historic to play Planeswalker Tribal, Liliana Tribal, so a couple of different things going on here. One is, I'm a huge fan of Liliana Waker of the Dead, I just can't stop playing the card, I think it's so insane, plus, kind of a little bit of a Planeswalker Tribal kick, and we haven't really done Planeswalker Tribal in Historic, thanks to Amiket Remastered, we now have three Lilianas in the format with Liliana's Death Majesty, and they all kind of synergize together, so we're ending to Historic to play some Lilianas, assemble Liliana Trod, play some black stuff, draw some cards, all those things, so let's talk about the deck, jump right into the game, starting with Liliana number one, and one of my favorite cards, quickly becoming one of my favorite cards, Liliana, Waker of the Dead. So, four mana, four loyalty, pluses to make everyone discard. If our opponent's empty-handed, they take damage, negative three to kill stuff, and if we can ultimate it, we get to reanimate something with haste for free every single turn, and our deck is actually kind of built around the reanimation ability, because the most straightforward synergy with Liliana is to play Liliana, Waker of the Dead on turn four, follow it up with a new addition to Historic, Liliana, Death's Majesty on turn five, and Liliana Death's Majesty can just reanimate something with its negative three ability. So if we can discard something massive to Liliana Waker of the Dead on turn four, Liliana Death's Majesty immediately gets it back. Plus, Liliana Death's Majesty can be like a slow wrath for non-zombies. The plus ability makes zombies, so it protects itself and fills our graveyard with the mill ability. So those are our first two Lilianas. To round out Liliana Trod, we have the biggest, baddest Liliana, Liliana Dreadhorde General. And this one doesn't have any super specific synergy in our deck. It's just a powerful finisher. Drawing his cards, another way to make zombies, making each player sacrifice stuff, uh, which is fine. Uh, we don't mind if we can get rid of our opponent's best stuff. And if we ultimate it, essentially just wins the game. So the heart of our deck is our Lilianas. We just want to play as many Lilianas as possible, get as much Liliana value as possible. As far as our reanimation plan, we got a bunch of one of fun of. So the biggest and baddest, Ulamog's Eastless Hunger, Platinum Angel, Massacre Worm. Any of these cards are really powerful coming down on turn five with our reanimation plan from our Lilianas. Ulamog's obviously the best. Being close to unbeatable, eating away our opponent's library. Platinum Angel can keep us alive forever. Massacre Worm can sweep the board. Gandhi had Red Presence. Not insane reanimation targets. Uh, only costing four mana, but still, like Gandhi, if we can cast it, steal one of our opponent's cards, have it die, and then get it back with reanimation to steal another card, that's a lot of value. Dread Presence, our deck's got a lot of swamps, can draw some cards, can gain us some life. As far as the rest of our creatures, mostly early game stuff. Gifted Aetherborn, great against aggro and against big creatures as well thanks to death touch pack rat can just win the game on its own if it goes unimpeded we just discard a bunch of cards which is fine with us make a bunch of rats kill our opponent with the pack rat beat down murderous rider can be a creature and the life gain is relevant because our card draw costs a lot of life so gaining back life is nice but really basically a removal spell joining things like heartless act grasp of darkness for Roska's contempt to give us plenty of ways to kill our opponent's creatures thought seize another life loss effect but it's definitely worth it taking our opponent's best card for a single mana for card advantage the big one's castle lockway just drawing cards with our lands very very strong but we also get a frag scene arena to just sit out and draw us an extra card every turn which is part of why the life gain from stuff like gifted etherborn murderous rider really important to keep our life total high because we are spending life to draw cards. Mana base wise, we talked about Castle Lockwain, Pajukabog for graveyards, Blast Zone is kind of a catch-all, a bunch of swamps. In the sideboard, we get a ton of removal customization for aggro decks. Grasp for the early game, Witch's Vengeance, Extinction Event, Massacre Girl can all be sweepers in the right circumstances. Sorcerer's Spyglass kind of starts our control stuff, shutting down Planeswalkers, Gonti, also really good against grindy decks. 
Thought Distortion is our gotcha card if we run into Hardcore Control, just getting rid of our opponent's hand and Graveyard, theoretically. Leyline of the Void to deal with Graveyard decks, and that is Liliana Tribal. That's our bunch of brew deck for this week. Let's jump into some games, see if we can assemble Liliana Tron in Historic. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are Liliana Tribaling, Liliana Mulliganing in Historic, and, well, all right, we'll keep this. I'm not super excited about it, but we'll keep it. So I'm go. We have a Liliana. Mm, all right, opponent's on burn by the looks. Well, play the land, pass the turn. Gifted Aetherborn, pretty good against burn. Opponent, combat. Eh, all right. Kilogram Lava Manser. Don't want our opponent to turn on light up the stage, which might have been the goal there. Well, play a land, pack rat. Go. Ooh, so opponent's actually Mardu. Interesting. Definitely going to need more lands. Thought Seize. Takes the Liliana, that makes sense. Can they also kill the pack rat? That would put us in pretty rough shape. If they can't, ooh, all right, all right, all right. Well, pack rat, discard Ulamog. Make a pack rat. Pack rat power. <laughs> Get in, hit ya. Well, now we try to do this until our opponent dies, hopefully. Oh, they're playing Feather, I see. Defiant Strike to draw a card. Untaps. Untap land. There's the Feather. Passes. Well, we will pass the turn. So we have all this removal, but can it actually remove Feather? Oh, it can. All right. Opponent does get to kill our pack rat. They do get to still get back the Reckless Rage, but we killed a Feather. Opponent has another Feather. Well, no wonder they were okay with firing it off. Uh, boot it. Has another Reckless Rage. All right, so opponent has gotten through our pack rats. They're gonna have infinite Reckless Rages in hand. Yeah. Well, we kill Feather. We play Bajookabog. Ugh. But if our opponent has another creature, hmm, could use a Liliana, that'd be sweet. Also, Castle Aquain. All right, opponent does have more creatures. 10th Thrister Glegionnaire gets and hits us. Down to 16. And a Soul Scar Mage. Well, Liliana. We will kill 10th District Legionnaire. Pass the turn. I mean, we're slowly trying to eat through our opponent's threats. Opponent's gonna get in, kill Liliana. Yeah, plays the land, passes. Well, Swamp, pass the turn. We might end up cracking this blast zone, even though it puts us further away from Massacre Worm, but opponent gets in with the Soul Scar Mage, hits us down to 15. Tap land, no. Well, sag the blast zone, kill the Soul Scar Mage. <laughs> opponent cycles Defiant Strike, looking for more creatures. Oh, there's big Liliana, but we need more mana for that. It'll be great if we get to it, but we did just sack a land and a po Oh no, my god. All right, opponent doesn't just top deck a creature. They top deck feather number three. Ugh. All right, sure, opponent. Yeah, it gets back the removal. Well, we top deck a murderous rider number two. Kill the feather again. <laughs> the good news is we've killed almost every feather our opponent could possibly draw. We've got through three feathers. <laughs> so hopefully that, oh my goodness, they still keep coming. Wow. Well, play a land. Pass the turn. Opponent. We really need a land for Liliana. We really need a land for Liliana. Plays a land. Ugh, pass the turn. We can't play our creatures because they just died to these reckless rages and that grows the 10th district legionnaire. We need a Liliana land. Sacking that blast zone might come back to bite us, opponent. Passes. Well, all right, Liliana. There's always, there's always a Liliana to solve our problems. <laughs> oh, no, another one. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, oh, my goodness. Thought C, well, hmm. Oh, my goodness, we're going to die? All right, pass the turn. Oh, my goodness, this is so insane. Pwned. Hits us. Pa okay, there's the land. Play the land. Play Liliana. We are down to five, though. Make our opponent sacrifice their creature. We have killed so many of our opponent's threats. I feel like they really have to stop drawing threats at some point. We've killed three feathers. We've killed three 10th District Legionnaires. We've killed a Grim Lava Man's and a Soul Scar Mage. Our opponent has got to be running out of... Nope. Apparently not. Apparently never. Um, well, how do we do this? So opponent gets to flash stuff back from the graveyard. Hmm. We can't get rid of both. Well, I guess we 
Massacre Worm. Kill the Lava Mancer. All right, opponent lets it go. Then we will make a zombie. Pass the turn. If our opponent double Reckless Rages, they do kill their own Red Horde Arcanist. We really gotta fade Feather 4, that would be bad. Wow, this has been, this has been really close. Fought it. Okay, fight is one. Reckless Rage. Another Reckless Rage. Attacks Liliana. Gets back Reckless Rage. Yeah. Well, we got through those Reckless Rages that Not came back ten times, but we did get through them. Play a land. Ugh, hmm. Oh, Liliana's still around, too. Ooh, they couldn't kill it. Make a zombie. Play Murderous Rider. Ugh, thought sees. Take Grim Lafamancer. Murder the Arcanist. Pass the turn. Pout it. Whoa, scoops it up. Holy threats. I cannot believe that we actually got through that. Our opponent, wow. They had so many threats. Well, bring in whatever removal we can that actually deals with our opponent's stuff. Uh, I think we can go down the Dread Presence in the Ganti. And, hmm, what else can we cut? Definitely want the Thought Seizes. Is Thought Distortion worth it? Not really with Feather Out, I don't think. Well, we got to see the Liliana power eventually. Maybe we just trim a couple Pack Rats. Pack Rat seems like it's probably going to die a lot. Well, that went pretty well eventually once the lilianas came down that was all we needed to deal with our opponent's stuff um hmm yeah we're on the draw we'll keep this i mean extinction event is pretty good and we hit the land which is also pretty good and we got lilianas for days like if we just hit our land drops seems decent uh bajukabog go opponent plays the land passes well play the land yeah let's pack rat pass the turd all right, opponent's got a shock. That's fine. Tap land. Well, play a land. Liliana won. Start the discarding. We will pitch Massacre Worm. We actually want Massacre Worm in the graveyard because we can reanimate it. Opponent dumps Reckless Rage. Well, take up Liliana. Discard Pack Rat. Oh, Liliana Week of the Dead is so insane. It's so good. I can't believe our opponent kept a no creature hand. All right, they draw a Grim Lava Mancer. Sure. Well, Murderous Rider, Grim Lava Mancer. All right, opponent saves it. That's fine. We will... Hmm. Extinction Event. I think our game plan is to ultimate. Opponent Defiant Strikes to draw a card. We will choose Odds. And opponent's done! They see the ultimate coming, and wow! Lily out of power. Rushing the ult... That's one of the things that I really like about this deck, is we actually are built with reanimating stuff with Liliana in mind. Like, being able to get back pack rats and start discarding more creatures, get back Massacre Worm to sweep the board. Uh, I don't think our opponent should have kept that hand, though. Uh, creature free seems like a risk. In game one, they drew infinite creatures, and it felt like no matter how many we killed, there was always another one coming off the top of the deck. Game two, our opponent just kept the no creature hand and got super punished. All right, so sweet. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are Liliana tribaling, also mulliganing, and historic this week. Uh, we'll keep, we will put, I think, pack rat. Ugh, hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's put that dread presence to the bottom. I think that's fine. Sand's not super exciting, but as long as we hit our land drops, it should be fine. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Uh, all right, thought seizes. Takes Liliana. Well, Thought sees you. Take Questing Beast. Gazalog win, go. So opponent looks to be Golgari Control. Takes a pack rat. Well, play a swamp. This is fine because we just want to get to this Castle Lock Wayne and start refueling and find Liliana, so we're pretty okay with this. Uh Castle Lock Wayne. Go. And I think it's worth spending the life here. Yeah, we're gonna spend three. Draw a card. Oh, here comes the lands. We did say we wanted to draw lands. Scavenging ooze. Well, that lets us get the Heartless Act out of our hand. The last card's in hand. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Liliana, that's what we were looking for. Take it up. Make a zombie. Pass the turn. All right, that's where we wanted to be. That's what we wanted. Kills the zombie. Sure. Uh, well, we will. Liliana, make a zombie. Castle Lockwain. Go. Haven't milled anything good to reanimate yet. 
All right, opponent finds Murderous Rider. Well, that's Castle Ogwade. Yeah, I don't mind Phyrexian Arena. Um, play Blast Zone. Play Phyrexian Arena. Get in with a zombie. Hit our opponent. Down to 10. All right, there's a Murderous Rider. Well, hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's take up to three. Don't really want to crack it yet because we'll lose our... Ooh, interesting. Ooh, even more interesting. One, two, three, four. Well, play Platinum Angel. And a land. Pass the turn. All right, opponent has Scavenging Ooze, which unfortunately we ticked up too much to kill, but we should hit a removal spell at some point. Opponent eats an ooze. Sure. And passes. Liliana's very good. I'll play Liliana. Kill the ooze. And all we're missing is the big one. Play Liliana. Make a zombie. Get it with Platinum Angel. And uh, yeah, I think we're in a uh, decent shape at least. Two Liliatas. Opponent hits a land. Ooh, Questing Beast. All right, that is, that is annoying. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not great. We dropped to seven. Questing Beast kills Liliana. We drop to six. Well, let's Gonti take Elder Gargaroth. Um, take up Liliana. Get in with Platinum Angel. Yeah, I think we do have to kill the Questing Beast. We don't want to take a chance on, like, getting low enough on life that we then just die to... All right, opponent attacks and attacks. We don't want to get low enough on life that we die to a removal spell on Platinum Angel. Well, we will Swift and Questing Beast. And opponent. Done, done, double done. Too many Lilianas for our opponent to keep up. I mean, our opponent also was a little bit light on the land drops there, which probably didn't help them, but that still went uh, pretty well. We'll bring in another Gonti. Maybe Thought Distortion? Hmm. What are we worried about out of our opponent's deck? I mean, I guess they got a lot of creatures, so maybe Thought Distortion is not the best plan. Maybe Extinction Event? What are we going down is other question. We want a removal. I guess we can cut Dread Presence in this matchup, and maybe go down one Pack Rat? Do we want more Grasp of Darknesses? And let's go down two Pack Rats, go up a Grasp of Darkness, run it like that. Well, that is Liliana power. Like, Liliana into Liliana into Liliana is just... It's a lot for our sub decks to keep up with. Um, well, okay. On the draw, we got Liliana's for days, so hopefully we hit our uh, land drops. And we get to kill our opponent's first thing, presumably. All right, land or elves. Eh, Thoughtseize isn't bad. Ooze, Gargaroth, Veraska. Hmm. So I think we take Veraska. Opponent plays the tap land, scries to the bottom. There's the ooze. That's not a land. Well, play the land, heartless act, kill ooze. Come on, lands! Come on, lands! Opponent untaps. Castle Ogwain hits us down to 17. All right, there's a land. So play the land, pass the turn. We need to kill this Gargaroth. Gargaroth cannot live. Ashiok. Yeah, that's fine. Exile some stuff. Hmm. Do we want to... All right, opponent goes to combat. All right, let's kill the Llanowar. We're going to take a little risk here. Opponent still needs two more lands. Ooh, and we draw the land. All right, land gone to you. Take questing beast. All right, opponent plays the land. Mill some cards. And, wow, going to draw. All right, trying to get to that Gargaroth, which would be an issue-ish. Well, questing beast. Hit our opponent. Kill the Ashiok. Ooh, can we deal with this Gargaroth, though? Pwned it. I mean, I guess we have two Death Touchers, which is good. There's a Gargaroth. Oh, play a land. Liliana. Zombie. Um, no attacks. I mean, with two Death Touchers, hopefully we can just kill this with a creature. Questing Beast, okay. Opponent getting frisky. Chooses what? Draw a card? And draws a card. Well, block and block. Liliana down to three. Ooh, that's not bad. Well, take up Liliana. Play a Liliana. Take up a Liliana. Discard a Liliana. <laughs> Liliana's for days. Get in with the zombie. They actually synergize pretty well together. Opponent land in. Cry the Carnarium. Sure. And dies. Well, uh, we will take up Liliana. Discard a Massacre Worm. 
reanimate Gonti. And opponent gives us a GG's. And that was a dominating Liliana performance. I mean, the deck actually feels pretty powerful. Just, wow. I do like how the Liliana's synergize together. Like, you have Liliana's forcing discard for other Liliana's to reanimate stuff. It is, uh, like, sneakily synergistic. It's not as obvious as, like, Gideon, where it's just like, hey, do something for all the Gideons. But uh, it does synergize pretty well. Yeah, there's one. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are playing some more Liliana Tribal in Historic, and eh, not a super fast hand, but we got removal, card draw, and a Liliana, so. Oh, looks like our opponent's on control. Kahira into Watery Grave, almost assuredly a control deck. Well, give to Aetherboard. Go. Well, our Lilianos will be good if we can resolve them. Opponent passes. Well, play a Swamp. Go to combat. Attack ya. And pass the turn. I don't think we want to get Fraxine Arena countered yet. Opponent passing. Well, go to combat. Attack. Hit ya. Castle Lockwain pass the turn. We do want to be able to kill Teferi Hero of Dominaria when it hits the battlefield before it can untap the lands. Opponent draws some cards. Tap land. And passing. Well, go to combat. Hit ya. Play a swamp. Pass the turn. Yeah, opponent did have the sensor. So we're playing this very conservatively. I guess the concern is if our opponent's on approach, that could be an issue here. Opponent thought seizes, so we're gonna lose our something. Ugh. Maybe we should just slam stuff and not worried about Teferi. I don't know. Takes a murderous rider. So apparently setting up for a Teferi. Land. And passes. Alright, opponent passes. Hmm. Thought seize is not bad. Well go to combat. Attack our opponent. Down to ten. Thought seize our opponent. Opponent counters. Dread presence. Opponent counters. All right. Well, we got through a bunch of counters. Uh, play Castle Lock, going past the turn. Planes for our opponent. Kaya, interesting. Takes it up. Well, play a land. Play Phyrexian Arena. Go to combat. Attack Kaya. Liliana. Take it up. And pass the turn. All right, opponent's got a cast out, but opponent's down to one card. Wow, goes after the card draw. Interesting. All right. Still worried about approach. Opponent takes up Kaya, exiles some cards. I'm gonna make myself Land, one card in hand. And, all right, it's an answer to Liliana. That's fine. That's fine. We can draw with Castle Lockwain. Oh, or we'll hit a big Liliana. Liliana, go to combat. Hit Kaya. Make a zombie. Opponent. Opponent's back up to 19. They were all the way down to like 10. All right, Kahira, sure. Opponent passes. Well, go to combat. Attack, Kaya. Opponent blocks and trades. Kaya dies. Well, take up Liliana. See if we can mill something worth reanimating. Not yet. Gifted Aetherboard. Eh, all right, opponent counters, draws a card. Well, we might as well cast a Lockwain, I think. Pass the dirt. Uh, booted. Scoops it up? Liliana too good, even for the control deck. And that was before we get to bring in Thought Distortion, Sorcerer's Spyglass, and another Gonti. Like, that was with our deck having some dead cards in the matchup. So we will go down. What are we cutting here? Um, <sighs> Platinum Angel. Platinum Angel, actually, okay, we'll go down Massacre Worm. We'll go down Massacre Worm. We'll go down Heartless Act, Grasp of Darkness, Grasp of Darkness, and... What's our last cut? Eh, probably a gifted Aetherborn. Run it like that. Jeez, Liliana's seem actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, and now we have some sweet sideboard tech for this matchup. Thought Distortion in specific can be a blowout. Because you know our opponent's not playing creatures. Like, they're playing Kahira as their companion, so they can't be really playing creatures. Unless they're playing cats or something, but... Alright, we're on the draw. Well, discard card draw Liliana's. That's what we want. I guess also ways to kill Teferi. Still a little nervous about what Teferi can do to us. Um, all right. I mean, this is a very creaturey hand, but we'll keep it. Opponent's sticking with Kahira, so still on the creature plan. Lango. Opponent thought seizes. Wow, takes gifted Aetherborn. All right. Well, we'll play a pack rat. 
Force our opponent to have an answer. Wow, cycle sensor. That feels a bit desperate. Wow, that feels super desperate. Opponent missing lands? All right, they do find their land eventually. Well, play Blast Zone. Pack Rat discard Ulamog. Go attacking. Opponent down to 16. Gonna need a Wrath. And opponent done. Pack Rat power. Whoo! Wow. Well, no Liliana needed that time, but uh, still a pretty dominating win against what could be a very good deck. And ranking up, ranking up. Slowly creeping towards Mythic with Liliana Tribal. Still got a ways to go, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are Liliana tribaling in historic. And, uh, eh, no Liliana's, but this hand's fine. We got a blocker, a removal spell, some card draw to find our Liliana's, and our opponent mulliganing into oblivion. Opponent's diamond's bigger than ours. Why is ours so, so small? Uh, all right. Swamp, goo. See what our opponent's up to. Overground tomb, Llanowar elves. Well, bolt the bird, or I guess... Act the elf. <laughs> Found it. Tap land. Gilded goose. Opponents a sacrifice deck by the looks. Uh, Castle Lockwade. Phyrexian Arena. You. Phyrexian Tower. Definitely concerned about Bolus' Citadel. That would be a problem. It could come down next turn if we don't draw anything. And a priest. Uh-oh. Uh, Thoughtseize isn't the worst. Well, Thoughtseize, our opponent. Oh, get rid of the Citadel. Uh, gifted Aetherborn. Wow, that was close. Our opponent almost was able to jake us out. Blood Artist, sure. We're pretty fine with this, because if our opponent sacrifices, yes, they get to draw a card, but that gets a extra creature in our graveyard, which then lets us Liliana away the priest. So opponent's going to float all their mana. They're going to sack, I guess, the mana dorks? Okay, sack some mana dorks, draws a card. We lose some life and our gifted Aetherborn. And it's just a land. All right, so we get to draw a card. Eh, Thought Seize isn't helpful. Uh, well, play Liliana Waker of the Dead. Get rid of Priest. Get out of my way. Play the land. Pass the turn. So opponent's down to not much, but we still need to get the pressure on before our opponent manages to draw another Citadel. Ooh. Hmm. Play Pack Rat. Discard Thought Seize to Pack Rat. Take up Liliana. Discard a Swamp. Pass the turn. All right, claim the firstborn, sure. That doesn't do anything though. They don't have a card to discard. Opponent hits us for one. Yeah, we'll take it. Down to eight. Down to seven. Well, pack rat, discard a swamp. Gifted etherborn. Blast zone. Take up Liliana. Get in with our pack rats. Hit you down to eight. Pass the turn. And opponent, dun dun dun, our timely thought sees. To get rid of the Citadel comes through. Citadel still very much scares me. Well, let's bring in a Gaunti. Grasp of Darkness, Extinction Event, Witch's Vengeance, I guess. And Mass... Eh, Massacre Girl's kind of hit or miss. Yeah, I definitely am nervous and worried about... Bolus the Citadel in specific. Uh, what are we cutting? All right, go down to Dread Presence. And maybe we don't Witch's Vengeance. I don't think we have that much sideboard room. Go down... Maybe a Veraska's Contempt. We want the cheap removal in this matchup. Killing the ma uh, killing the Mana Dorks is actually a pretty legitimate plan. Hmm. Thought Seize is necessary. Eh, I guess we can go down Platinum Angel. I feel like if our opponent gets to get going and do their thing, they're going to win through a Platinum Angel pretty easily. Ulamog might be okay. Maybe Gonti's not worth it. Opponent doesn't have that many good hits. Let's not go up the Gonti and... Eh, go down one pack rat. Run it like that. Pack rat, while it was great that game, a lot of times I feel like it's just going to get pinged by a mayhem devil or something. So basically, do a bit of trimming, bring in some more removal. Eh, that is very far from a keep. Eh, all right, that's better. We'll put a Ulamog to the bottom. For our opponent, Gilded Goose. Well, Swamp and Thought Seize you. Take a Priest. Opponent plays the land. And a Priest. No, play the land. Kill the priest. We would like to draw more lands. All right, opponent has Mayhem Devil. No, play the land. Phyraxian Arena. No fear. We are going to have to Thought Seize this Citadel at some point. We're taking a bit of risk by waiting. Opponent hits us. Down to 15. Gonti and Bajukabog. Well, Thought Seize our opponent. One, two, three. Well, take Mayhem Devil. That is unfortunate. 
I don't think we have a choice, though. If we leave the Mayhem Devil alive, we're going to die before Sid... Okay, okay. Pona gets and hits us. Down to nine. Down to eight. Oh, that is frightening. Well, Liliana. Ugh. Kill Mayhem Devil. I am very, very scared. If our opponent draws a land here, we lose. We're in a pretty fragile spot. We haven't gained back any life. Opponent passes. We drop to six. Well, play a land. Play Gonti. Steal a Blood Artist. Tig up Liliana. Discard the land. Opponent discards claim the firstborn. Play Blood Artist. Oh, we got to feed a land again. Opponent untaps. Oh, no. All right, there's Bolus to Citadel and probably our death. Okay, opponent passes. Well, we will Massacre Worm. Sweep the board. The Blood Artists kind of just uh, cancel each other out here. Opponent goes to 15. Take up Liliana. Opponent goes to 12. Play Blast Zone. Get in with Gonti. Opponent goes to 10. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Fizzle, fizzle. Opponent draws the land. Collected company off the top. Uh-oh. 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 Opponent. Thinking. Scavenging use Blood Artist. Okay. So he can use Scavenging use to maybe... Ooh, wow. That's a... That is a great hit for our opponent. That's actually... That actually gains life. Oh, into a priest. Okay. Opponent's gonna try to gain some life. Up to four. Whoa, Strider. Up to two. Opponent's gotta be careful of this Massacre Worm, though. With us having Massacre Worm and Blood Artists, they can't really go on the Whoa, Strider plan. Opponent can gain, what, one more life with Ooze? One more life. Up to three. They can sack the food to go to six. Wow. Opponent passes. We drop to four. Gifted Aetherborn. Castle Lockway. All right, so how do we do this? <sighs> All right, so... Wow, this is really interesting. Liliana, kill Blood Artist. I think we get the reverse aristocrat kill, essentially, with this Massacre Worm. I hope that's how this is going to end. So that dies. Blood Artist, cancel out. Massacre Worm hits our opponent. Blood Artist hits our opponent. Sack Blast Zone. Oh, wow. Opponent got down the Citadel, but we got their life total down enough. Opponent sacks the food. Goes to four. The problem for our opponent is they go back down to one, and we attack. They can't not block. They can't block. It's still doing it. Liliana is still doing it. Taking down the sacrifice deck. We might have been greedy there. It is true that we could have thought Seize that Bolas as Citadel at various points. <sighs> at the same time, those Mayhem Devils were also very frightening. I don't know. That was super... I guess they got exiled. That, is, that was super close. I'm still actually not sure. Bolas as Citadel is a card that makes this deck scary. But... We could have naturally just lost to Mayhem Devils. Oh, boy. Well, it worked. Stealing the Blood Artist into the Massacre Worm. Just enough to get the Reverse Aristocrat kill. Sweet. Pretty sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are Liliana Tribaling in Historic. And, ew. A lot of powerful cards. No lands. Uh, eh, it's not bad. We'll keep this. Uh, we'll put a... Hmm. Yeah, let's put... Blast zone to the bottom, I think. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Guildgate. Interesting. Well, thought sees you. Take our promise. Ooh, opponent might be on Maze's End. I actually don't know if we can beat Maze's End. Land and give to Etherborn. Yeah, I'm actually not sure that we can. We don't have a way to interact with lands. This is going to be very interesting. We might have <laughs> met our match. Oh, no. Guild Summit. If there is a weakness to our deck, it is... It is that we are not great at interacting with enchantments. Well, get him a gifted Aetherborn, hit ya. Opponent. Grow Spiral draws a card. Do they find a gate? No. Breeding Pool. And Temple Garden. Well, Castle Lockwade, Liliana. Take it up. Discard Massacre Worm. Hit our opponent. Down to 19. 
Well, once our opponent finds a way to get gates, they can snowball this guild summit advantage. Well, not yet. Uh, take up Liliana. Discard Veraska's Contempt. Opponent discards Rivulet. Well, go to combat. Hit our opponent. Down to 17. Um, yeah. Was thinking if we should draw now, but the only thing we could draw into is Thoughtseize that we could actually cast. Opponent. Redraw. Redraw. All right. Well, draw a card. Untap. Play a land. Hmm. Gifted Etherboard. Draw a card. Take up Liliata. Discard Murderous Rider. All right, opponent discards an explorer. We'll hit our opponent. Opponent is desperately holding to this Gates Ablaze to draw. Okay, there's their gate. So now they can Gates Ablaze. Ooh, Uro. All right. That's not bad for our opponent. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to catch. Yeah, let's emblem. Hard to pass up this emblem. Go to combat. Take an Uro. Draw a card, gain some life. Blast Zone is a way we can answer this guild summit. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. I think we're definitely going on this Blast Zone plan. Opponent. Guild Gate draws a card. Gets back Uro. Draws a card. Now opponent has managed to rebuild. Uro is good at doing that. Opponent, yeah, draws a card. Do they hit a gate? All right, no gate. Gate's a blaze. So one, two, three, four. Four. We'll take up our blast zone to three. Lose our board for the moment. Sack blast zone. Get rid of Uro. And the guild summit. Thought sees our opponent. Take approach. Liliana. Hmm. Uro or something? How many cards do they have in their graveyard? One, two, three, four. And their hand is gates ablaze. Yeah, let's Massacre Worm. Hit ya. Down to nine. Opponent grows spirals. So they're gonna be able to get their Uro back again. But we do have Murderous Rider for it. There's the Uro. Draws a card. Well, now we know we're on the approach clock as well. Opponent gains some life. Hmm, no. Murderous Rider. Kill the Uro. Drain our opponent. Go to combat. Get back. Gifted Etherboard. Hit our opponent. Murderous Rider. Opponent. What you got? Oh my god, they top decked a Nugan. Alright, so opponent remains alive. Yeah, that was... That was a really good draw for our opponent. Okay. And plays Cascading Cataract. So we'll play a land. Go to combat. Grab a Gifted Etherboard. Kill Ugin. Liliana number two. Dead. Take it up. Pass the turn. And opponent. Whoo! Enough Liliana's. And we actually beat an Ugin. I know I always get yelled at for just scooping to Ugin. But we actually, we beat the Ugin. We beat it relatively convincingly. All right, so Gonti definitely in. Huh. Thought distortions in? Leyline of the Void. Hmm. Grasp of Darkness definitely out. Massacre Worm probably out. Probably Sorcerer Spyglass. I feel like we might need to name Maze's End. We can go down Heartless Act. And maybe Dread Presence? Yeah, let's try it like that. Seems fine. Now well, Liliana Power. <laughs> the deck is surprisingly effective. All right, we're on the draw for game number two. Uh, playing against Guild Gates with Approach of the Second Sun. We could also, if we needed to, play... Necromentious style effects to deal with approach. I don't know how popular approach is. I'm assuming not very, but it might be more popular than I'm realizing. Well, we have Liliana Tron. If we draw the lands, we can just curve out Liliana Tron, see what happens. Phone it. Thinking things over. Plaza Harmony, Grow Spiral, and a land. All right, well, Ulamog is a, a bit away. Although, if we can play our Lilianas, it could work. The opponent's ramping like crazy this game. Yeah, this is a bit frightening. This is a lot frightening. Opponent's gonna be up to seven mana next turn. They could have a really quick Ugin. Well, that is a land, so play the land. Go to combat, hit our opponent, gain some life. Play a pack rat, pass the turn. Go loose. Gets a cataracts, plays a land. Well, blast zone. Liliana. 
take it up. Discard Ulamog. No attacks. Oh, they get to spin, though. Oh, this is so scary. Yeah, that was a super fast ramp hand. Uh, boot it. Yeah, go for it. Spin that cataracts. See what Golos finds. Yates Ablaze. Okay. Heads Liliana. Untap land would be helpful. Opponent passes. Well, uh, three cards, so we can't get rid of Golos. Hmm. I'll take up Liliana. Discard big Liliana. Bajukabog, our opponent. Play a pack rat. Pass the turn. This Golos, though. This Golos. Opponent. We need this Golos to whiff, basically. Opponent, combat. Attacks Liliana. Well, we will pack rat block. Oh, this is a huge, huge, huge sequence. Opponent. Golos. What do they hit? Oh, God. Two hour of promises. Okay. So that probably beats us. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, opponent, uh... Opponent, uh... Well, we'll see. We'll see. The one thing we have going for us is... This Ulamog we can reanimate. But... This still just might be too much for us to be. Our promise. Our promise. Yeah. So zombies for days and a mazes end. How many gates do they have? One. Two... Three, four. Oh, they're not actually that close to winning with Maze's End. All right, so we get to untap. Well, we'll see. Liliana. We have five cards, right? All right, Liliana. Kill Golos. Liliana number two. Reanimate Ulamog. Castle Lock, Wayne. Go. All right, that's our hope and dream. Oh! And our hopes and dreams die. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, no! Are we going to lose our 5-0 to G Gates to Maze's End? Is that where this is going? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> Maze's End! Maze's End is going to ruin our 5-0. What are the odds? Oh, maybe we'll have to play Maze's End sometime. Maybe, uh, maybe that's the way to ramp now that Field of the Dead is banned. I mean, our promise, it's insane when you're getting, like, 4 or 8 or some obscene number of zombies, but... Even just getting some deserts and some mazes ends and whatnot, that's still relatively powerful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Well, we're on the play. We would like to see a thought seize. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to keep this. It's awkward, though. No. Nope. Swamp go. Opponent tap land. Uh, Castle Lockwain. Sorceress spyglass. Name. Ugin the spirit dragon. So opponents just got all ramps and gates at the moment. Question's gonna be, do they hit card draw? This Liliana could do some serious work if we get to it. Opponent gate. Ooh, thought sees. Well, thought sees you. Take and explore. Play a swamp. Pass the turn. Uh, boot it. Yeah, getting the ramp on. Oh, play the land. Liliana. Take it up. Discard sorceress spyglass, I think. Chef it do. Oh, they drew the hour of promise. All right, that's a very good draw for our opponent. Well, we will Liliana, Liliana, kill a zombie. Murderous Rider, kill a zombie. Bajukabog, pass the turn. Opponent, Guildgate, Golos. Wow, we might get mazes ended. Oh, it gets Gateway Plaza, okay. Well, we will Veraska's Contempt the Golos. Oh, this is painful, but I think we gotta do it. Take up! Discard our Liliana. Get rid of our opponent's last card. Opponent passes. Gifted Aetherborn. Murderous Rider. Liliana. Make it discard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thankfully, our opponent does not have enough. Wow. All right, opponent's gonna mill themselves. So they hit an Uro, which I guess is pretty good for them. Actually, it's very good for them. Okay. Yeah, we don't have an answer to that at the moment. Opponent, Plaza of Harmony. Gets an Uro. Draws a card. And passes. Well, play a Swamp. Take a Bliliata. Make your opponent discard. Wow, all right, it was an Ugin. Castle Lock, Wayne, draw a card. Pack Rat. <sighs> Pass the turn, but there's an active Uro. Opponent untaps. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh no. One, two, three, four. Hmm. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot. That is a lot. Well, play the land. Castle lock, wing draw card. Pack rat. Discard thought seize. Make a pack rat. Take up Liliata. Hit our opponent. Pass the turd, but there's a maze's end. Oh, we're going to lose to Maze's End. We're going to lose. We might regret discarding that Sorcerer's Spyglass. Opponent, Plaza of Harmony. Passes. Huh. All right, so play a Swamp. Draw with Castle Lockway. Discard a card. Kill Uro. Go attacking. Bout it. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I guess if our opponent whiffs, Pack Rats could get there. Pout it. Maze's Ed. Yeah. Gets another gate. I mean, there's a chance we have lethal next turn. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We need a whiff. We need a whiff. We need a whiff. I guess our opponent can mill themselves to get back Uro. Hmm. Yeah, opponent mills themselves. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! What a way to lose a 5-0! I thought we had it with Liliana Tribal! Mace's end! Well, if you're gonna lose, lose uh, at least lose to it against the odds deck. That's doing something uh, something interesting. Although, really, it's an Uro deck, so I don't know if this counts or not. <laughs> I mean, if you're playing Ulamog and Uro and all that stuff, are you really doing something interesting? Yeah, I don't think we have any chance of winning now. So opponent gets back to Uro again, puts a Mace's end into play. I don't think we can 19 our opponent. Grow Spiral. So we can hit our opponent for, let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We need to draw Thought Seize. We need to top deck Thought Seize off of this Castle Lock Wade. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, and we need our opponent to not have a land in hand, I guess. Take the Rue. Oh my goodness. No, it doesn't work. Oh, it still doesn't work. Because of the Uro. Discard the land. Yeah, we're still going to be just short. We can't use Liliana twice. We need the damage from Liliana. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow, we ended up a single Uro short. Opponent goes to two, but then they win with Maze's Ed. One, two. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yup. Wow. Wait. We won? Wait, didn't we? What happened? What am I missing? I won? Wait, what What? Do I, what happened? Wait, what are, what are, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness, we were miscounting. Oh, oh we did get the 5-0. Wow, what were we counting? A, a Plaza of Harmony is a, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Well, I take that all back. <laughs> Lily out of tribal. Undefeated champion of historic. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to get yelled at for that. I, I'm going to get yelled at, but we just went 5-0 with Lily out of tribal. So don't yell too hard because the deck's sweet. <laughs> Whew. Alright, uh, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Liliana Tribal in Historic and the deck kinda crushed it? We went 5-0, and climbing up almost towards Mythic on Magic Arena. We beat mid-range decks, Golgari, we beat combo decks like Jun Sacrifice, we beat Esper Control, we beat Maze's Ed, we took down an aggressive Feather deck, so we really played against the gauntlet of decks and managed to beat them all. Even the ones we didn't think we were gonna win, like that Maze's Ed matchup, we still managed to pull it out, and I gotta say, the deck actually felt really strong. It's really sweet how much the Liliana synergized with each other, being able to, like, discard into reanimate into just Liliana Dreadhorde General, which is really busted, 
Plus, we got a lot of powerful cards. Thoughtseize is good. We get the good black removal. We have awesome card draw at Castle Lockwade. Good early drops. Pack Rat can win by itself. Gifted Etherborn. Insane against aggro. So we have this really solid base. And now we have these really powerful Lilianas. And once again, Liliana Waker of the Dead just proves that it is an absurd magic card that you should be playing more. Like, every time we play it. Every time. In modern. In historic. Whatever format we play it in. It's just so, so good. People are still sleeping on that card. So, I don't know. If you like a lot of one-ofs, fun ofs. If you like drawing some cards, killing some stuff, playing some Sweet Planeswalkers, assembling Liliana Tron, I, apparently this is a deck you can rank up with, and I found it super fun to play. It felt like we had game in all the matchups. We have removal for aggro. We have great Planeswalkers against control and mid-range. We have good threats. We just have everything. So if you want to play a deck that is unique and it's fun and it seems to be good in basically every matchup, give Liliana Tribal a shot. It's super sweet. So anyway, that's been our bunch of brew for this week. Liliana Tribal for Historic. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. I don't know if that's possible because I really enjoyed playing this deck. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.